Hey, what's going on? You know who it is. You know what it is. All right, man. Here to talk some basketball right quick. You know what? I got to really say something, man. You know, a lot of these niggas on here that try to talk basketball, talk NBA, they only come when a team that they root against loses. One thing about me, when I told y'all I was going to cover the whole NBA playoffs, you know, the whole Houston Warriors series, and the whole, you know, Cleveland versus Celtics series, I meant that because I got to be a man of my word because I have a duty to y'all. You know what I'm saying? To be consistent because that's fake. You know, when your team lose, you know what I'm saying? You disappear. But when the team that you rooting against wins, then you ain't got nothing to say. Then you want to holler about how fucked up the NBA is and all that type of shit. Now, I just wanted to put that out there. Because you know what I'm saying? You will continue to see the consistency. Everybody knows I'm a Warriors fan. That's no secret. But win, lose, or draw, man, I, I cover the game, I'll talk about the game, I'll break down the game. Look, the Warriors just, hey, at the end of the day, I, I hate to use that word, but the Warriors just blew that game, man. It was their game to win, and they just basically blew it. And Kevin Durant made a horrible veteran mistake. He just did, man. He know better than that. But at the end of the day, this is the goal to stay Warriors. They still get the benefit of the doubt until they get actually knocked out by the playoffs. That's just the bottom line and shit. But like I said, you got to give all the credit in the world to Houston. Houston won't this series. They they fighting for it. They they putting up a fight. You know what I'm saying? They got blew out by four, almost 40 points in the last game. And a lot of times teams just fold up their tent. And be like, fuck it. Houston believe they can beat the Warriors. They believe they can win this series. And that's good. Like I told y'all, this was, I told y'all this was going to be an entertaining and fun series. And I told you that each team was going to win on each other's uh, home floor. Didn't I say that? I still picked the Warriors in six. So, you know what I'm saying? It could go seven games. You know what I'm saying? I'm, I'm just keeping it 100. So... I'm not worried about it. And I don't think the Warriors is going to let a game like that just like, like, basically, like, just suck the wind out of them and shit. I don't think this is that Cleveland Cavaliers series. At the end of the day, the Warriors just got to go in Houston Houston and win and get it back to Oakland. And then, you know, we'll see what happens. All, you know, that's just real talk. Like I said, the Warriors just made a lot of turnovers, man. The Warriors, that's one thing about this particular Golden State Warriors team. Their Achilles heel has always been turnovers. And they're going to have to minimize their turnovers, you know. But we'll see what happens in the next game, man. Now, the pressure, once again, is all on Houston. Houston, all they have to do is win two more games and they go to the NBA Finals. So like I said, the pressure is more on Houston to win because as I said before, Houston had home court advantage throughout the playoff. It is more pressure on them to win than it is to go to State Warriors. You know. But yeah, I'll further talk about this. I don't know when game uh, five is. I think game five is either on um, Thursday or Friday. So, you know, we'll see what happens. Anyway, I'm out.